First reading. Ezekiel chapter 17 verses 22 to 24. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain, on the mountain heights of Israel, I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit, and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, Most High, to proclaim your kindness at dawn and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree, like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow. They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age, vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock, in whom there is no wrong. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Second Reading 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 6 to 10. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense, according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The Word of the Lord Gospel Reading Mark Chapter 4, Verses 26-34 Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day and through it, all the seed would sprout and grow, he knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord The Proclamation of the Kingdom of God Commentary from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraphs 543 and 546 Everyone is called to enter the Kingdom. First announced to the children of Israel, this Messianic Kingdom is intended to accept men of all nations. To enter it, one must first accept Jesus' word. The word of the Lord is compared to a seed which is sown in a field. Those who hear it with faith and are numbered among the little flock of Christ have truly received the kingdom. Then, by its own power, the seed sprouts and grows until the harvest. Jesus' invitation to enter his kingdom comes in the form of parables, a characteristic feature of his teaching. Through his parables, he invites people to the feast of the kingdom, but he also asks for a radical choice, to gain the kingdom, one must give everything. Words are not enough, deeds are required. The parables are like mirrors for man, will he be hard soil or good earth for the word? 
What use has he made of the talents he has received? Jesus and the presence of the kingdom in this world are secretly at the heart of the parables. One must enter the kingdom, that is, become a disciple of Christ, in order to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. For those who stay outside, everything remains enigmatic.